So this fellow, Arthur Greenwood person, tiny channel, 619 subscribers. What's the description? Homeless people are everywhere. It feels like any time you walk downtown, you see a dozen bums and vagrants. Drug needles and human feces are all over the sidewalks. The streets are no longer safe. What happened? Are these people simply victims of racism and capitalism? Or are they lazy, stupid criminals? What about disabled people and children? Could we feed and clothe the homeless? Could you give them money? What would Jesus do? Rorschach's Journal. June 6, June 10th, 2024. Look at this pasty ass mother with the don't tread on me sign behind his <laughs> in his childhood bedroom at his parents' house. Oh, there are a few people in this world that deserve that expression on their face to sit naturally, and he is one of them. Okay, so I work at this restaurant. It's a beautiful place, organic, local food, trees, picnic tables. But when I first started there in high school, why, why are you, your restaurant, is your restaurant a park? Are you delusional? Are you working at a park, sir? I was the janitor, and my job was to clean the bathrooms. One day, I walked in to clean the customer bathroom, and as soon as I opened the door, there was this disgusting, reeking smell of human feces. Someone had completely ruined the bathroom. There was toilet paper all over the floor, dirty underwear stuffed in the trash can, and they hadn't even bothered to flush. I later figured out that the culprit was this one creepy old homeless lady who would always wander into the restaurant. Every single time, she made a giant mess in the bathroom. It wasn't just her. Homeless people were always wandering in, playing loud music, scaring away the customers, leaving heroin needles in the kids' playground. One time, my coworker found a pile of human sh** on the floor. It was disgusting. The left wants us to feel really bad for homeless people. They're just victims of capitalism and Well, actually, they're, they're not victims of capitalism. Actually, very typically what happens is you have people with uh, in need of severe, like severely in need of mental health assistance, people dealing with very, very serious mental conditions, people in very, very serious situations, um, which they cannot escape from without like actual medical, medical intervention. Uh, we had in Canada, we had uh, essentially asylums turned out and the people just poured out onto the street. Um, those those people, if, if they were capable of doing so, are not being hired for jobs. Um, and in many cases, they are simply not capable of doing so. But leaving that aside, leaving all of that aside, I want you to think about this for a second, okay? Let's pretend for argument's sake that every, let's just, just pretend for argument's sake that every homeless person in the world is just a scummy human being who chose a selfish existence uh, just, just, to, just to ruin their lives and the people around them unless other people unfairly and unjustly are forced by the government to turn out their pockets to fund social programs to make it easier for these freeloaders to get by without ruining the place. Let's pretend for an argument. Let's pretend for argument's sake that that's the case. Um. So do you do you just do you just want to to hate the people more as they're ruining your bathrooms? Let's pretend we have no souls. Let's pretend that that's it. We view our fellow human beings as pests. Let's pretend so. What does? Your condemnation affect if your policy solution is not to march them all into the ocean. What's what's your plan? Oh, you don't have one. You don't have one. You're just you're just a, a crummy loser who lives in your parents' basement with with child's toys on your wall, and and you just you just want oh the the left the left would have us believe that poor people are people and that we can't just murder them. Like, it's, just, it's gross. It's gross. Gross. Racism. We just need to give them more- Also, by the by, just a heads up. Old people who aren't homeless miss the toilet too. I too have worked in restaurants. 
I too have worked in stores with public bathrooms, publicly accessible bathrooms, rather bathrooms open to open to the customers. Uh, and I have seen things you people wouldn't believe. I've watched feces trickle in the dark over the porcelain gate. Food stamps and welfare checks. How dare you try to keep them from camping at your business? How dare you put up anti-homeless benches? Well, uh, what's, what's the plan then? What is the plan? See, if, if you put up an anti-homeless bench, what you've done is you've made a homeless person more miserable, more unable to sleep, therefore more unable to get out of being homeless. You've taken someone who is already in a situation of absolute deprivation and desperation, more so than basically anyone can, can imagine who's never been homeless before, and you've now made it so in addition they cannot sleep. You've also, by the way, made it so that your, your cities are tremendously less comfortable and unsightly for everybody else who lives there. So even assuming you have no soul, which I can tell that you don't, uh, you're still ruining, <laughs> you're still ruining your city, your city just to spite the people you've, you've already ruined. But I guarantee if those same leftists worked one day at my job and actually had to deal with homeless people, they would feel the same way. I live in Victoria. We have a tremendously bad homeless problem. Tremendously bad. And it's gotten really, really bad lately. There are entire streets right now that have been quote-unquote colonized by tents. Why? There's nowhere else for them to go. There's nowhere else for them to go. That's it. Because if they go somewhere, they get uprooted, they get sent somewhere else. They go somewhere else, they get uprooted, they get sent somewhere else. Occasionally it becomes the, uh, the subject of uh, a very short-term and typically very cynical activist battle that never results in any kind of permanent solution, but just results in them being used as a spectacle so that a couple people can pad out their resumes being involved in some kind of uh, legislative or activ activist battle with the courts or with the police or whatever so that they can go get jobs at some nonprofit somewhere else. Those people don't have an out. They don't have an out. Um, these are people who are deeply unwell. These are people who are frequently, like, uh, uh, deeply unprepared, unequipped, and unable to, to make themselves presentable to get a job. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. Let's think about this. For, look, creepy old lady, right? The creepy old lady you're complaining about who messed up your restaurant's bathroom. If she's unable to navigate a public bathroom, then I guarantee you she's not able to win a job interview, get a job, hold a job, save up on minimum wage at half hours, half at, at part-time hours to afford an apartment when the cost of living has gone up so exponentially that the, the average person is spending something, some, what is it? Like, like half, half their income. If, if you're lucky, like half their income just on rent. And what, what is, what is bathroom lady going to do? Is she, she going to, you know, is she going to sublet? Who's going to, who's going to accept her? What's the plan? What is the plan? Do you know why they have drug needles? Because they're addicted. They're addicted frequently to things that they will die if they don't continue taking. Do you, do you want to pay? Do you want to pay for their... I, I, you're bas you basically only have two options. You want to pay as a society for the recovery of those members of your society that your society has categorically failed. Or you want to pay as a society to clean up their corpses. I don't know about you. Like, for me, I, just from a cynical, I want my cities to look pretty and safe vantage point, the choice is obvious. Go ahead, I dare you. Take a walk downtown at night. Walk up to that gang of homeless people and strike up a friendly conversation. Just know that while you're virtue signaling about anti-homeless architecture, your sisters are too scared to walk on the street alone. Let's jump ahead. Get a job, bum. Let's see. Poverty in America is basically fake. Oh, I can't get a job. Really? Because 78% of American businesses are understaffed. The only- Really? So, uh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Hey, um, hey, uh, uh, 
Arthur, Artie, go go to your restaurant and go ask your boss if they want to hire an elderly woman uh, who 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 can't navigate a bathroom because something's going on. I don't know if it's muscle coordination. I don't know if she's having episodes. Whatever can't can't handle herself can't handle herself unattended in a bathroom. Okay. She looks creepy in your description. Like, put politely, this is not a person who's prepared for a job interview. Why don't you? Why don't you walk her to the front desk and say, "Hey, hey, boss, hey, boss, you know that you know that like spot you've been struggling to fill? I got someone for you. Got you covered." Oh, I know. Almost yeah. Oh, by the way, that other thing where people are spending all of their money on rent. Some people aren't making enough for rent, and they're still working. They still have jobs. They still have jobs. Any reason you can't find a job is because you're A, insane, or B, sub 50 IQ. Well, let's think about this for a second. Let's let's run with this. Okay. I, I like this. I like this. Let's hear that one more time. Insane or B, sub 50 IQ. Okay. Why can't you get a job? B, sub 50 is because you're the only reason you can't find a job is because you're A, insane, or B, sub-50 IQ. All right. Let's run with this. Artie. Artie boy. Let's run with this. The only reason you can't find a job is because you're insane or you have a sub-50 IQ. How does a person who is insane or has a sub-50 IQ, as you put it, how do they find a job? The name of this section is Get a Job Bum. Right? How do they do it? Oh, oh they can't. Because they are suffering from mental illness that prevents them from functioning in that way. Or they're not, for whatever reason, competent to do the job. So they can't get past the interview. They probably can't even schedule the interview and they can't hold the job once they have it. And lest we forget, even if they manage to, to cross this, this snake way of, 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 of hurdles, uh, the job still won't give them enough money to get a house, to get an apartment. They probably won't be able to sublet for the exact reasons they aren't going to be able to get a job interview, get a job or hold the job or <laughs> Or interview well enough to get the apartment. I, I am not homeless. I make a decent income. I have, I had a tremendously hard time getting into apartments. Tremendously. You, you need, the, 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 the amount like a, a guarantor needs to be making in my province to get into an apartment is insane. Insane. It's nuts. Look at this guy. Look look at look at how uncoarse his skin is. Look at look at the, the, the nice, neat, clean Beverly Hills polo shirt he's wearing. There are no marks of distress or hardship on this person's face. Not even academically, because guess what? I'm going to judge your bookshelf now. Freaking cretin. I see two things on display. I see... Cheap. Basic. Fiction on this shelf. Arranged according to publisher. And color. Not according to subject matter. Because the subject matter doesn't matter because you don't read. That, uh... Mists of Avalon. That is actually a piece of feminist literature, by the way. But the Mists of Avalon, that is a paperback. Uncreased, unscuffed, pristine, beautiful. And on the right, here we have the academic material. We have Gilgamesh. That looks like the Stephen Mitchell retelling. Is it? Or is it, is it Stephen Mitchell? Hang on, hang on, let's see. Uh, yes, that does. It looks like the Stephen Mitchell retelling. It's blue. It is a little wide. It's a little wide. I wonder if that's a different edition I'm not familiar with. But we have Gilgamesh. Yeah. 
We have the vampire economy. Interesting. I can't make this out. I can't make this out. This is the red line. This looks like a novel. We have one penguin book here. God knows what that is. Uh, so you're, you're, you're kind of a boob. You're kind of a boob, Artie. Who's been stealing your thoughts? And they put everything. Did you ever read? Honestly, I'm giving them too much credit. You can have the IQ of a pigeon and still get a job at a subway or a gas station. Really? That's interesting. My uh my my brother, actually. Fun fun fact. My my one of my younger brothers was struggling. He he's an academically pretty successful kid too. Smart. Smart. Looks better than me. Which I realize is not saying much, but significantly better than me. Struggled to find, get a job at McDonald's. Had to apply five times. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Five times for McDonald's. Now, let's let's pretend he was sleeping on the street. And not, not like living it up on a park bench, because those have metal bars covering them now. Let's say he's he's sleeping like under a bridge somewhere, if even, because they also put stuff there. Let's say he's sleeping in the woods, just loose on the ground, right? Days. Days. Delirious. Unshaved. Unclean. Old clothes. Yeah, he's gonna... Uh, and let's add to this as well. Uh, severe mental illness. Severe exhaustion. Yeah, you're gonna go, go go get that. You're gonna compete with my brother for that job. Please, please. All you have to do is show up to work and do the bare necessities. You don't even have to be friendly, but I guarantee most homeless people haven't even tried to apply. Well, it's probably not wrong there. Because at the end of the day, they'd rather just do drugs on the street. I per <laughs> Let's see what his solution is. Let's two hours. These people contribute nothing to society, they ruin a lot of nice places, and we as a civilization cannot tolerate them anymore. Unleash the cops, take back the streets, like the video, and subscribe. <clears throat> You look like a used Q-tip with hair.